coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Maker testing hits the bullseye for Archer. H55 electric propulsion system receives EASA approval. And Wingcopter to expand operations. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Maker testing hits the bullseye for Archer. Archer Aviation, the San Jose, California-based designer of electrical vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, reports flight tests of its Maker demonstrator aircraft are proceeding apace. Most recently, the test program saw the first use of the company's tilt propeller system, which actively controls Maker in hover. The system, which facilitates transition from hover to wingborne flight, comprises a series of independent actuators, sensors, and software that articulates the vehicle's forward six propellers relative its single high-mounted wing. The installation and successful testing of the TPS system marks Maker's readiness for more advanced transition envelope expansion flights. Subject flights will afford the Archer team opportunity to validate flight mechanics such as trim motor, RPMs, and power draw as a function of airspeed, assess control system stability, improve simulation models of vehicle aerodynamics by evaluating real-world battery performance and motor efficiency, characterize vibration and thermal environments for future airborne equipment qualification, and gather acoustic data to validate predicted in-flight decibel levels. The demonstrator aircraft on which Maker is based completed its first flight and received its airworthiness certificate from the FAA in December 2021. Archer intends to unveil a piloted four-passenger iteration of the aircraft in 2023. And after these messages, Air Nostrum Group to acquire HAV Airlander airships. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Air Nostrum Group to acquire HAV Airlander airships. Hybrid Air Vehicles Limited announced it has received its first commercial order from an airline group. The deal will see Air Nostrum Group take the delivery of 10 of HAV's Airlander airships. Originally developed as the HAV 304, the Airlander is a hybrid airship comprising a primary helium vessel fitted out with auxiliary wing and tail surfaces. The craft develops lift by both aerostatic and aerodynamic means. In-flight thrust is provided by four diesel engine-driven ducted propellers. Airlander's progenitor, the HAV-304, was designed and built for the U.S. Army's Long Endurance Multi-Intelligence Vehicle Program. New Remote Control Capability for Skystar 330 Aerostat RTLTA, the Israeli company that designs and manufactures the SkyStar family of aerostats, has introduced a new capability by which its SkyStar 330 aerostat systems may be remotely controlled. RTLTA's SkyStar astrostats are self-contained, transportable tactical systems designed for defense, border security, HLS, and public safety missions. Worldwide, the systems have accumulated over 4 million operational hours. NASA announces launch delay for Psyche asteroid mission. 
NASA has announced that the Psyche asteroid mission, the agency's first mission designed to study a metal-rich asteroid, will not make its planned 2022 launch attempt. Due to the late delivery of the spacecraft's flight software and testing equipment, NASA does not have sufficient time to complete the testing needed ahead of its remaining launch period this year, which ends on October 11th. The mission team needs more time to ensure that the software will function properly in flight. 3,000 model aircraft commemorate BMFA Centennial in a coordinated nationwide effort, member groups of the British Model Flying Association simultaneously launched a total of 3,109 model aircraft over England's green and pleasant land. The May 2022 event celebrated the British Model Flying Association's 100th year and represented the efforts and skills of an impressive 263 BMFA-affiliated clubs. In its time, BMFA has produced promotional materials and products to support events staged by over 800 affiliated clubs. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. H55 Electric Propulsion System receives EASA approval. H55, the Swiss producer of electric propulsion technology, has been awarded its design organization approval from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. The measure follows the granting of the company's production organization approval by the Swiss Federal Office for Civil Aviation in January 2022. The DOA and the POA allow H55 to design its electric propulsion system within a defined certification framework. The procurement of the two approvals positions the company to receive type certification for its 1000 kW electric propulsion system targeted for CS23 aircraft and is certainly not ruling out a future in unmanned or autonomous vehicles. CS23 is the European Aviation Safety Agency certification specification for a range of normal, utility, aerobatic, and commuter category airplanes. Subsequent the announcement, H55 was selected by Pratt & Whitney Canada for a project in hybrid electric aviation. H55 aims to contemporaneously certify its electric propulsion systems, constituent motor, and batteries as part of a single type certificate. The company has secured formal acceptance of its certification basis with EASA. Formal validations with other agencies, such as the Federal Aviation Administration and Transport Canada Civil Aviation, are pending. H55 is the first company to receive type certificates for electric propulsion systems as part of its design organization scope. And after the break, Wingcopter to expand operations. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Wingcopter to expand operations. Wingcopter, the German aerospace company that designs and manufactures unmanned EVTOL delivery drones, announced on June 21, 2022, that it had secured a $42 million Series A extension that will help the company expand its purview into market segments such as grocery and consumer good delivery. To date, Wingcopter has operated primarily in sub-Saharan Africa, delivering medical supplies to rural areas. The extension, which more than triples Wingcopter's total equity raise to over $60 million, attracted noteworthy investors the likes of Germany's Reve Group, one of the country's largest grocery retailers with 12,000 stores across Europe, disruptive technology investors Salvia and XAI Technologies, and Japan's Itochu, a trading company likely to provide Wingcopter a foothold in the Japanese market. 
In addition to expanding globally, Wingcopter seeks to apply the new funding to upping production of its flagship Wingcopter 198 drone, an all-electric vertical takeoff and landing fixed-wing all-weather vehicle capable of carrying a 6-kilogram payload up to 75 kilometers on a single battery charge, or a lesser 1-kilogram load up to 95 kilometers. With new financial assets on which to draw, it remains unclear whether Wingcopter intends to modify its extant Wingcopter 198 platform or develop a nimbler, clean sheet design to actualize the company's grocery fetching aspirations. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.